what's going on guys welcome back to let's play mario and luigi dream team for the nintendo 3ds today my friends is going to be a very awesome special day for us because we're going to be saving the last five pillows of this game if you guys remember in the previous episode we actually saved the last few pillows on mount pajama as well as obtaining the last few attack pieces here in wakeport so today that is going to be my mission i'm going to go through the entire pillow island to every single area that there's a pillow that i haven't saved and save that pillow there's actually a couple places that I have more there's one place in this game where I have more than just one pillow to save but other than that I have a pillow to save in driftwood shore in Somnom Woods as well as Dozing Sands and then I have two in Marsh Rice Park uh, but before we get started if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me I'd really appreciate it if we can reach over 500 likes on this episode before the end of the day I will reward you guys by posting episode number 69 tonight so if you would like to see that then leave a like on this video so just to clarify Kylie the Koopa is in fact a girl in the previous episode I happened to say that Kylie the Koopa was a boy and I nicknamed him uh, Kale I don't know why I did that I honestly don't know like it was obvious it was it, it, when the dialogue was being you know displayed it would say Kylie the Koopa I don't know why I named him Kale and why I was saying she was a boy when in fact she was a girl so I apologize to anybody that I offended by calling Kylie the female Koopa a boy Okay, so with that being said, we can finally make our way to Driftwood Shore. I'm gonna get the the uh, the least exciting pillow first, and then I'm gonna work I'm gonna work my way to Dozing Sands, and then to Somnam Woods, and then I'm gonna end off with uh, Mush Rice Park because Mush Rice Park we have two pillows to save there, and uh, then we'll be able to talk to the Elder Pillow, and he will reward us by giving us the last. And final bros attack move, which is in fact the most powerful bros attack move in this game. It's so powerful, and I, I used it on an enemy, and I was so surprised at how much damage it took. With a lucky hit, I was able to do to deal like 3,000 HP. So it's something obviously that I really want. Again, this is this is not the uh, this is the wrong area. This is the wrong part of uh, Driftwood Shore that I'm at. It's supposed to be in the entrance area because this pillow is located by uh, Brooke Madame's house. Or little hut or shop. I don't know, man. I don't know what that is. That's like a fortune teller house. Maybe it's a house. Maybe she lives there. I, I couldn't really tell you, man. All right, let's 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 get out of here. I, most of the pillows require this stupid move. I don't know why. But this game, they're like, oh, you want this pillow? You got to use this move. So you can't, like, obtain most of the pillows until you have this move. But yeah, <clears throat> this is the least exciting pillow to obtain just because um, there's this really tedious part, which I will show you. Um, with like this like thing that falls from the sky. I don't know what it's called like I know they're called icicles when they're frozen But other than that, I don't, I don't know the proper name for them And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about Well, you'll find out in just a couple of seconds here if you can just be patient while Mario and Luigi uh, Pick themselves up off the floor or ground Okay, we're gonna get up here. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. So, when you spin all the way up to the top, there's gonna be that thing that falls. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty annoying. Oh my gosh! I have to go quick. That's the problem. That's why I hate this pillow, man. I hate it with such a burning passion. Ah, oh, there we go. God! You just gotta go in and out really, really quick. Otherwise, you're just gonna continue to fall back down to the ground and, and it's, it makes it really annoying but yeah there you go there's the first out of the five pillows that we're going to be saving today um, now we can finally say we're 100% done with Driftwood Shore I don't think there's anything else that I should be doing here or just in the game in general I mean unless I want to go back and obtain all the beans which I might in fact do because now that I know beans help our Stats, you know, there was really no point for me not to want to collect the beans So anytime I see a bean hole I'm gonna go ahead and collect it and the good thing too about this game is that uh, on the collection menu You can actually see how many beans you've collected in every single area and how many beans remain So um, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of uncollected beans that I'm gonna go through and try to find because after finding them all, I'll probably have an extra 30 stats that I'll be able to use on both Mario and Luigi, which is something very, very good. Something that I really want. 
And yeah, here we are back in uh, Dozing Sands. Oh man, this virus dude, get off of me. Get off of me, man. He's trying to chase me. God, I hate those things with such a burning passion. I battled one of them on my main file and I wasn't paying attention to my 3DS when I like bumped into them. And uh, they sold like 600 coins and then they just fleed the battle. I was so upset too. I didn't want to reset the game either because I did a lot of things that I couldn't just, you know, reset the game because I didn't save prior to getting into that battle. So I was really upset because 600 coins is a lot of coins to me right now in this game. Um, coming from a poor individual in the game, I have like 2,500 coins after buying a bunch of stuff. Um, something that I also never even realized too is after you do save all the pillows, like let's say you saved 7 pillows, right? After saving the 7 pillows, you're supposed to talk to the Elder Pillow and he, he would have given you things in between every like milestone of pillows that you've achieved to help you with the game. And that was something that I wasn't aware of at all until um, the other day when I did save all the pillows on my main file. And then I spoke with the Elder Pillow and he happened to give me a bunch of things. And I was surprised. I'm like, wait, he's like, oh, at seven pillows, you were supposed to get this. And then he'll give you like a glove or some sort of apparel that will help you out. But yeah, the pillow that we're looking for right now is actually located here towards the right. Um, what made it really easy to find the pillow here in this location was, first of all, I was looking at all the maps just to make sure that I unlocked every single area in Dozing Sands. And what made it really, really obvious that there was a pillow in this area was because there was this block. And this block, I never, ever used it. I was saying, if, if there were a pillow back here, I totally would have hit this block, man, because, I mean, I, I was desperately in need for coins, but I so happened to not hit that block, meaning that there was a hidden pillow that was just there in the open that I could have obtained. Plus, I remember this part in particular was the part where um, Torque Screw was chasing us on that thing, or we were chasing Torque Screw, and I guess I was too into the game, into the story at the time, that I just decided not to explore the area. Which is a bad thing, because you should try to explore the area, like, any area as much as you can. Alright, so, um, we're gonna jump here. Oh, there's the first nightmare chunk. Let's break that. Uh-oh. I can actually kill these guys just by jumping onto them before the battle even begins. But do I really want to do that? Probably not, because I'm trying to avoid any battles today. Now, um, when you exit an area entirely like Somnom Woods, um, what will happen is all the enemies in that area will actually respawn. And Somnom Woods is the last area in the game, and the enemies there give me, you know, somewhat of a decent amount of EXP. So what I was thinking was, I should probably head back to Somnom Woods before entering into Neil Bowser Castle, and just train with the enemies there for a little bit. Maybe take a couple hours out of my day and just train. Constantly go back and just kill the enemies. Um, one, I'll get a lot of coins out of it. Two, I'll gain EXP out of it, and I don't know what level I need to be before I'm able to get my final ranking in the game, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be more than like 20 or 35, because I'm only 31 and I'm at the end of the game right now, and even now I think I'm kind of over leveled, because most of the enemies here are such a joke, especially like in the dream world or in the regular world, all the enemies I can kill them in like a snap. Um, so I, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do right now. For those of you who've played the game, do you think I should train more? Currently with Mario and Luigi, I'm level 31. Something I'm definitely going to be doing is going through the entire Pillow Island and looking for all the, the beans that I haven't obtained. I'm not going to do that on screen just because it's going to be a really, really, really tedious process. They're not like pillows, um, because pillows, once you find the pillow, you have to enter inside of the dream world and save that pillow from its petrified nightmare chunk. So, uh, doing that would just be a hassle in um like obtaining the beans i mean on screen would just be a hassle because I, again i don't know where any of the beans are i just so happen to find a bean hole as i'm like entering or exiting an area and i'm like oh there's a bean let me let me get this bean um but other than that yeah i i don't think it's worth recording unless you guys really want to see it but i i hope you guys don't because honestly they're they're pretty pointless just to go around walking all around all of pillow island searching for little bean spots Oh my god, I thought that guy was going to hit me, but he didn't, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, what I'm trying to get to is to that golden war pipe right now. Um, because I'm going to make my way to Somnam Woods. And the the pillow that I'm looking for in Somnam Woods is actually really close to the war pipe, which is good. Again, it's a pillow that I, I don't know how I skipped over or why I did. 
but um, it, I guess it kind of makes sense because usually when I'm let's playing a game like this, um, I, I would have pre-played it ahead, but not to the point where like, you know, I've known, I know the area 100%. Like, I know what to do and how to get around and stuff, but I don't know every area 100%. So I feel like in any other future RPG, like, well, Mario & Luigi, like, every game that I've, every Mario & Luigi game I've pretty much played, and I know them all pretty well, especially Superstar Sagas. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess, this is, I guess this is like an exception with this game, because it kind of sucks having to play the game and then record it, because both of my files, my main file, I'm at like 42 hours of just gameplay. This file is like, let's take a look, we're at 33 hours of gameplay, and the thing about this file is, there's also, like when you look at the playlist, of like the edited videos and stuff like the final product videos the playlist for every or for this entire let's play is like 24 hours in length and this is 33 hours of gameplay on my let's play file meaning that there's a bunch like nine hours of just footage that i either cut out or did off screen because i wasn't necessary to record so I mean just just try to beat my shoes sit in my place and, and just imagine having to play the game Like for two hours a day and then record it for two hours a day and then edit that video and then upload that video It kind of gets a little tedious, but I mean nonetheless. I really really do enjoy it Anyways, uh, welcome to this part of the dream world um, This is a fun episode because we're getting to explore all the dream worlds again today in every single area uh, except for Mount Pajama, huh? which is something that we did yesterday. So, this is going to be fun. What we need to do is we need to reach the goal before time runs out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward it. Remember, when you fast forward time in this, in particular, dream world, um, Mario's jumps aren't as high. But he does go a lot faster. So, if you want longer, higher jumps, then play in the slower world. But, yeah, I did it in less than the time required or the, the time that they gave us. They gave us 21 seconds, and I did it in, like... I had like maybe nine seconds to spare or eight seconds something along like that And there you have it guys the final pillow in Somnam woods Now we just have two more pillows remaining before we're entirely done With the main world and story of this game and then we'll be able to make our way into Neil Bowser castle I'm super excited about this like seriously. I'm really excited about this because that means I have every single bros attack unlocked except for the one in Neo Bowser Castle and I'll have every single pillow saved. Ah, it's a great feeling, man. I honestly thought I was going to beat the game with like a lot of missing pillows, but good thing that a lot of you guys told me about the uh about how I needed to save the pillows just to get that nice final move, which is going to be awesome. All right, so we're gonna make our way back to the Golden War Pipe. The good thing is it's, it was literally right there. Good thing it was one of those pillows at the very beginning of Somnam Woods. Otherwise, it would have been a tedious process to go in and out just to save that pillow. But yeah, it wasn't that hard to find. The hardest one, I believe, to find was the one in Dozing Sands and then the couple in Mushrise Park because Mushrise Park is huge. It's probably the biggest place out of any of the areas in this game and it just made it really, really hard to find the pillows there. So. Um, where we're gonna head to is we're gonna head to, I guess we're gonna go into the hot area. This is where the Elder Pillow is at, and, um, Boss Brickle's at, too. This is where his house is. Now, the two pillows that I'm looking for are actually right next to each other, and fun, f the first, I mean, like, okay, so I guess I'll get this one first. The one towards the left, not the one towards the right, because there's one in this area right here. That was also a pillow that I, that could have easily skipped anybody's mind. Um, so there's that thing right there for Kylie the Koopa. I think what are these called? What are they? It's a Mushrise Park shot. So we need to give it to Kylie the Koopa at Wakeport. So maybe after we beat the game, there will be some sort of an after game for us to do, like a couple things here and there. You never know. All right, there's a bean. Let me get that bean quickly. And there you have it, my friends. The First pillow here in Mushrise Park. That's a pillow that anybody could have skipped over. Because A, you never entered this area. B, who would have thought that after obtaining that shot, that there was another hidden area with a pillow hidden in it. 
I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure I've came across this pillow back a while ago when we first started this game here in Mushroom Park. But it's, it's kind of hard to remember that, oh, there was a pillow in this in particular area, you know. So we're going to be needing to do some Luigianary moves right here, like the Luigianary tornado. Why am I stopping? I can just fly all the way through the very end. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, okay, thank you. We didn't fall or die. And that's that's good. Okay, so the best way to kill the or to destroy these nightmare chunks is with this move right here. I wonder if we could break two at the same time. Nope. You cannot do that. And the final nightmare chunk here. And voila! Pillow folk number four saved in this area. And number 51 on the list. Meaning there's one last pillow in this game and we will be done. God, that is exciting. That is very, very exciting. We unlocked a new Bowser castle like <laughs> two episodes ago. And we still haven't entered it. Just because we have been doing lots and lots of side questing here. Alright, sorry pillow, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Because he's probably going to say the same thing every single pillow says about fossilization, how they are petrified in the Nightmare Chunk, and how they're finally alive and free, and they give us their thanks, and how Lantasma needs to be stopped, and how things have changed because they were in their Nightmare Chunks for such a long time. It's the same old story that we've heard over and over again. So this this final pillow is a pillow that I should have obtained while I was doing the rock hunt for the much rice tree board for boss brickle. Uh, it wasn't the rock hunt. It was like where we had to go through and break all these rocks. Ooh, another bean. Um, but yeah, it made it obvious that this is where the pillow was because I looked at this area first and I noticed that there was a box up there and that I haven't actually broken or used and I was like then there's definitely something up there because there's no way that they put a box up there and I want to explore it I mean, if you jump with both Mario and Luigi 2 on this box you get double the amount of coins so if you ever encounter one of those boxes and you would like double the amounts of coins then just jump with both Mario and Luigi there we go we got a max candy and the final pillow of the game very nice I don't even remember what dream world this one was Oh man, I don't remember. Let's take a look. See which one this is. Dun 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 dun. Let's see. Um, it's probably pretty easy. Hold on, you can't even tell. Oh, I remember this. You need a Luigianary move. Yeah, I remember this one. There's four nightmare chunks in this area. Um, and what we need to do is we need to make our way to the bottom to find that Luigianary star galaxy-like thing. There it is. Hey! Okay, so the moves you're going to be needing for this one are it's just pretty much this move. And then I think you're going to need the tornado for just a little bit. But yeah, um... Break through those boxes or those rocks and there's going to be a lot of enemies. I would battle them all individually, but these are the very, very beginning enemies in this game, meaning that they're the, the very weak ones that will give us absolutely no EXP. And there we go, we got the first Nightmare Chunk broken. Um, I guess the second one. Let me look at the map. Okay, so there's two down there. Let's head this way. Oh, yeah. And break it like this. Nightmare chunk number two. Um, where else? Okay, so I need to jump like that. Nightmare chunk number three. And nightmare chunk number four. Very nice. All four nightmare chunks here. Ah, very nice. I, I want to do something different. I really want to just head to Neo Bowser Castle right now. I don't like going through and saving these pillows, and thankfully I don't have to ever worry about it again because there's not a single pillow in Neo Bowser Castle. Unless there is, I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see what Dreamer has to say. We saved all of your friends, man. I mean, what kind of pillow civ civilization was that? If there were only 52, like, civilians, including Mega Pillows, Master Pillows, Dreamer, 
and uh, regular pillows. All the pillow folks have now been freed. My deepest thanks, Mario and Luigi. Let's go to Mushwise Park and tell Elle to dream. All right, that's what we're going to be doing. Good thing. That's why I saved Much Rise Park for the very end, because I knew we needed to head here to talk to um, Eldream. So it was just, it, was just, it just made it a lot easier to do. And there's another bean. I know where actually two more beans are. And they're towards the entrance of Wakeport and uh, Much Rise Park. Like the inter inter intersection, I guess you could say, is what it's called. But yeah, there's like a couple beans there that I, I need to get. Hey, what's up, Boss Brickle? And there he is, the Elder Pillow. Can I help you, Sonny? Yes, we rescued all the pillows. The pillows you've rescued, let's see. You, ha you two have saved 52 pillows so far. What the, can this be? You've now rescued all the imprisoned pillows. I knew you would rest until you saved us all. I was saving this until you helped seven pillows. And we obtained the birthday hammer, which is probably a really weak hammer. I was saving this until you helped 12 pillows. And we obtained the power gloves, which probably increased power stats. I was saving this until you saved 18 pillows. He gave us the birthday ring. I don't know what that does, but maybe we can give it to that guy who was wanting to propose to his girlfriend. And saving this one for 26 pillows, the golden wear, which probably give you extra coins in battle. And this one for 37 pillows, and that is the power gloves DX, which probably increased the power as well. And, yeah, Mario, Luigi, you have my internal gratitude, friends. You've earned the, a permanent place among our people. Eldream, we must reward these brave heroes. Leave it to me, my prince. However, there are too many eyes here. Please follow me. Ooh, back here in the secret spot. Now let me give you something for all the pillow rescuing. This is the greatest reward I can offer. Yahoo! Zeke! Zeke? Um... What's happening here? Wise Eldream? What was that? Good old Eldr... Eldog? What? Who on Earth? Ah, he's here! Oh my god, it's the Z-Keeper! Z? The Z-Keeper? Old buddy, it's been forever, what you need? Zeke, it's been an age and a half, you're looking trim. Anyways, I called you with some excellent news. These two brothers have just saved all the pillow folks. Totally awesome news. Yes, it is certainly is. Zeke, anyways, it is ever a great reward. I was thinking maybe you might help them out in battle. Since you ask, Eldog, sign me up. Though I am busy, it is sort of a hassle, but I am in. To summon the Zeke-Keeper, use these. Damn, we obtained the ten, we obtained 10 attack pieces to perform a new bros attack, the final bros attack that we can get so far. I think there's maybe one more, but that's inside of New Bowser Castle. But let's go ahead and demo this one out and show you how awesome this thing is. I already know how to use it, so we're going to go ahead and start the actual demo. So first, you're going to click A. It requires 15 bro points, which is obviously something that I am more than willing to do or use for an attack. That's gonna be as powerful as this. So the Z Keeper is going to make like this wake ball beam, and you're supposed to jump and stand in front of it and let Mario and Luigi. What the heck? Okay, let me read you that. I failed that terribly. I totally failed that, man. Let me actually use this in an actual battle because it. I want to show you how much damage it'll deal. No, no, no. How do I stop this? Really? You can't exit this garbage? Really, game? Okay, looks like we have to go through with this. Um... Can I please stop? I, I think... I think they know what it's like right now. This is so frustrating! Alright, there we go, finally. No! Please, back, don't. Alright, let's just exit from this. And now we'll use it on an enemy. So, I must ask Eldream, what's the deal with you two? 
What? Me and Zeke just old buddies were tea drinking pals from way back. Ah, you mean you and the Zeke keep a hangout? I'll dream. I'm impressed. You're like a celebrity. Oh. All right. What's gonna happen now? The pillows have been able to, or have all been saved, but our world is still in danger. And Tasma and this Bowser's just—he sounds evil. You two are only hope for returning peace to this island. Yeah, dude. Too bad the Z Keeper is pretty much useless right now, and he can't do anything to help his own island that he was born here and raised on, because he's just a fat, flimsy old cuckoo bird. All right. So we're gonna, those, man, those little bees, they're gonna have a terrible day today. Today they're gonna learn what it's like to have a terrible day. Well, at least one of them will. The other one will probably be spared. Whee! Alright, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and attack them with the ultimate Z egg move. Alright, here we go. Z egg. It says all, attack all foes with the equipped hammer. Okay, here we go. Oh, hopefully I'll be able to do this in a nice and clean, excellent performance. Alright, so the Z-Keeper's gonna launch his Kamehameha Blast, or his nice Wake Blast. And you just gotta fly in front of it. And just smack. Come on! Ah, oh, man. Okay, it's gonna take me some practice, man. It's gonna take me some time to practice, but if we get a lucky hit, let me see how much damage it'll deal. It dealt a thousand on, like, one of them. Or 190. What? Was it 3,000 or was it... I don't know if that was 1,000 or 191, because the lucky hit only dealt, like, 200-some. But dang, that, that's still a pretty powerful move, you know? I guess I was mistaken when it said 3,000. Maybe it was just like 300. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. In the next episode, we will make our way inside of Neo Bowser Castle. Sorry if this episode was a little bit boring. Um, we just had a lot of things that we needed to do and take care of. And we are finally done with all this, the stuff in this game. So we can finally make our way inside of Neo Bowser Castle at one piece. I hopefully will have uh, evolved a couple levels in the next episode. And hopefully I'll have all of the beans in the game and then I'll be able to share them equally between Mario and Luigi so that's something we're going to be doing in the next episode anyways thank you for watching and I will see you then goodbye